I mean, it's a risk to allow them to 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 carry out, you know, crimes against humanity while we're standing by and not doing anything to stop it, because after all, Ukraine is a friendly country to us, right? And that would embolden them to try the same thing with countries like uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Much better to try to stop it now than to have to stop it under much worse conditions, you know, someplace else. So are you saying that the best case scenario would be regime change in Russia? That's absolutely the best case scenario, but it's something they, and it could happen, but it won't happen because of what we do. It'll happen. That, that's up to the Russian people. And by the way, it's not unrealistic because after 18 months of war in Chechnya, uh, the Russian people were, uh, were ready to withdraw troops from Chechnya at any price at any and just even if it meant complete surrender and yeltsin at that time said that he could, he could not win re-election if 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 the war was not not brought to an end and he did bring it to an end and they did withdraw isn't biden already talking about regime change though i mean he's well he made a mis- he made a he made a comment that we've got to get rid of this guy uh referring to and the white house tried to tried to like uh, save tried him to wa- wa- walk it back and then he came out again saying no absolutely he's a butcher he called him a butcher yeah well you know none of that makes much difference to tell you the honest truth he can say anything he wants i mean the 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 uh but what is that doesn't that give doesn't that give russia a stronger hand like look look he wants regime change. Look no, what he wants. I, uh, Don't you think I, that feeds into their propaganda? Isn't that what they oh, want? Oh, well, they'll use that in their propaganda. Oh, yeah, for in sure. The, in their propaganda inside the country, but it's not critical to their propaganda. They've been, you know, they they are. Uh, Doesn't it they've prove been, them they've, right? They've been saying that anyway. They've been saying that even without Biden's remarks. Of course, but this kind so, of proves it right. Yeah, I mean. The it thing is like that, the, 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 you know, the, the real situation is the, the destabilization is not, any, is not the result of any words that Biden says, but rather the fact that they've attacked a country with, you know, 120,000 or 150,000 troops and are bombing indiscriminately and, mm-hmm. and are killing civilians. And, mm-hmm. and uh, this country which was at peace with them and was not threatening them. What happens if we do get regime change in Russia and now we are in now we have some sort of a president in Russia that is an ally to us and that I don't think any 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 country any change from what I know about the internal political situation in Russia nobody who replaces Putin if someone rep- if someone replaces him will be an a uh, 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 a uh, a puppet of the United States. No? It would no, no. It would it would have to be someone. The, the the opposition would have to come from the military and the security services on the grounds that Putin was destroying the country, and the the war had to stop in order to save Russia. And under those circumstances, uh, those people. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, you know, they would they would not necessarily uh, be friendly to the West or to the U.S., and they would c- cause trouble. But they would try to, they would try to reestablish some kind. You know, get the co- the economy back on its feet and end the war and 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 uh, and end the end the existing crisis. Uh, but uh, whether those forces are strong enough to do that, we don't know because that we know they exist. Mm-hmm. We know they exist because before the uh, before the invasion, uh, General Leonid Ivashov, who is uh, a very high-ranking retired general, was was very high-ranking, and is now the head of a, an association of retired military and intelligence officers in Russia, uh, said publicly that uh, an, a war with Ukraine would be an absolute disaster, and it was just being undertaken to mm-hmm. prop up this senescent regime. Mm. And, uh, and you know, the, the members of the board of this organization supported him. Now, if these guys were willing to say that publicly, then you can be sure that that opinion is held in the military by a lot of people. 
who just aren't don't feel that they can express themselves. Mm. So I mean the the, the the sentiment exists. The people exist. Uh, they are you know from what we understand that there's surveillance uh, going on inside the leadership. Everyone is being spied upon, but. You know they could. They, you know if the if Russia suffers c- catastrophic defeats, they could they could intervene and find enough support to remove Putin inside the country without the U.S. having anything to do with it. If I'm thinking from the U.S.'s point of view, if we want res- if we do want if the goal is true that we do want regime change in Russia, that's a huge risk. No matter who gets in, because anyone in control of all those nuclear weapons is a massive risk, not only to the U.S., but to the world. So wouldn't the U.S.'s first priority would be to declaw, so to speak, Russia and get rid of those or take possession of all of the nuclear weapons? We don't have the ability to do that, and it isn't even necessary. I mean, what's necessary right now is, is, is to end the war to get the Russians to withdraw right. and to get a peace settlement that that will be... Uh, that they will respect and that will, uh, you know, assure the integrity of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. That would, under those conditions, I mean, if something like that can be worked out and it's, you know, tall order, Mm -hmm. then the next step, of course, is to, you know, slowly reestablish economic relations and try to kind of get the, yeah, which which would which of course you get you know that would that would benefit everybody. I think that after this experience, though, the 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 dependency of the West on Russian energy is going to be a lot mm. less because we've seen the risks, and I think there'll be a much greater drive toward diversification of source of energy sources on the part of countries like Germany, which is you know the mm. pivot of very pivotal country well david we just did over three hours wow that's all i can say i want to thank you for coming here and providing your insight and your knowledge and uh on behalf of all the listeners and viewers um if you could give people uh, an idea where they could find some of your work your books your articles anything that you're doing well amazon i mean just type in my name you'll see all the books are on amazon.com okay and uh and the internet is is full of my articles and uh so is youtube and uh, it's not hard awesome